Bloody Nerdigans, this is the one only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Eden Zero Chapter 45. So, last chapter, we actually found out who um, our narrator is, and uh, the narrator is actually uh, the poet of time, uh, Zhao Mei, and this is going to be interesting to see, like, her contribution to the story. Like, it's more than just a narrator. It, she's actually... Um, a part of the story and the thing that um, makes her character a little bit more interesting and I just thought about this as uh, I was um, about to record this live reaction is that in terms of like some of the uh, time content um, that you know Zalme commentated on it totally makes sense now because we found out that she is the poet of time um, but anyway let's get to this chapter and see what happens next and here we go. A superstar among the cosmos. His name is Gravity Boy Shiki. Here we go. The mysterious girl who knows the ages. I know everything in the galaxy. I am Xiao Mei, uh, the girl who reads time. Will their fate be reflected in her eyes? Dude, I love how fucking Weiss is just dressed up. He looks like a pimp. It is just awesome. And yes, we still have uh, and we still have Ninja Shiki going on. Um, and chapter 45 is titled, uh, Mildeon Battle Coliseum. Are you the legendary fortune teller? I don't tell your fortune. I read time. Well, whatever. Please tell me the location of my teacher. I already know, Hamura. How did you know my name? I know all your names. Weiss, Shiki, Rebecca, Happy, and Pino. How do you know? I knew when and why you would come. That's because I know everything in the universe. Seriously? Time readers are amazing. Uh, to the exact minute, but this planet hasn't, hasn't time stopped here? The clouds and streams were still flowing. Even the star is still moving. If you look at things uh, rel relatively, it's, it is stopped. The time outside this planet doesn't move. Woo! The time you spend here doesn't interfere with the outer world. This is really interesting. This is, this is when I'm, I'm digging Mashima's, uh, writing is when we get like creativity like this this is so cool um meaning no matter how many years you stay here you will pick up right where you left off if you leave that is so fucking cool i don't really get it but it sounds amazing no way time being stopped is kind of scary don't think about it too hard that this is that kind of planet uh we need to find my teacher you will find her soon enough i mean i already know you will However, I can't just tell you this information for free. What? What a cheapskate. <laughs> I wonder how much it'll cost. No, I don't need your money. I know the vast knowledge of the universe, the type of girl that guy likes, the weather tomorrow, the military secrets of each planet. I know a couple things here and there. What is, uh, that is why I need an equal trade for the information I'm about to give. What is that price? Hmm, let me see. The location of Valkyrie, it's not too ambiguous of information. The effect it will have on the universe. Um, hmm, hmm, about a level 10. Level? Oh, God. What are you doing, Zalbe? Oh, shit. What's happening? The floor. Whoa, we're falling. Wah! Uh, welcome um, to the uh, uh, Mildian Battle Coliseum. What's this? A Coliseum? Oh, my God. Oh my god, the people of th this planet, they were so cute. Oh my god, Van Presto, please get on making a plushie of this, please. I, I need one. Who are these guys? The people of this planet? I know the past, present, and future. Since I know what will happen, um, I'm very bored. That is why I put a limit on my ability to know. This is a battle of victory, body against body, where blood and sweat will be spilled. It's too tasty to not know which will, uh, not know which will be uh, victorious. Oh my god, she is good. Fucking Zalme is definitely, definitely, definitely thirsty. She is thirsty as fuck. You need to get her some water. She is thirsty. What a change in character. Scary. That's right. I don't know the outcome to this battle. This is so hot. Such a burning battle. Hurry and battle, battle, battle away. Who will be the challenger? Damn, she is fucking thirsty. Oh, wait. I do know who that is. Wait a second. I don't know what's happening. What? Aren't you bad at guessing? One of you will become a warrior and battle it out. If you win, I'll give you uh, your information. I see. If that's the case, let me all go. However, I'm feeling like I want to let loose. Just leave it to me. Don't lose, man. Shiki, go get him. Yeah, ninja Shiki time. 
But if you don't know the outcome of this battle, then you don't know the complete future, right? The future is split into many possibilities. I see the future where you win or lose. Um, the future isn't set in stone. The future can be changed. I love this phrase. Uh, I, oh my God, we're getting shit. I love this phrase. Remember that. It seems um, like it's useful just, just for her to not know the outcome. Confirm, she's one for convenience. Shiki, this is my note. This is in order to find my friend. Friend? If she's Witch's, sis, uh, Witch's sister and Hermit's friend, then isn't she mine too? Yes, I knew Shiki was going to be here to fight. Well, then the challenger is Shiki. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on a second. Let me make sure. The challenger will be the uh, steel-armored strongest warrior from the um, uh, Zork planet. Holy fucking shit. Bell oh, my God. His name is Bell Bogey. Oh, my God. Mashima. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Mashi, but I, I, did you powwow with one or something? <laughs> I, I just I just have this feeling Mashima powwowed with one and Oda. And, well, I kind of want to say it with Tabata, but this is more of an Oda one powwow. <laughs> oh, God. This, this is, God, really? Metal bogey? Jeez. Bogey, smash him to the ground. Break him. So cool. All you need to do is win against him. What is that? It looks pretty hard. Will Shiki's gravity be enough? Seems he's skilled in combat and strong. Shiki, ready? Let's have a good battle. Let's have a good battle, young man. Fight. Come at me. Ooh. One punch, Shiki. Yeah. Two fucking Weiss's face is just so priceless. And like all the little plushies are just like, what the fuck? Why is that such a heavy punch? Dave Machina gravity punch. I win. I knew Shiki was going to win, but who knew it would be in one punch? It makes me so hungry. Well, you passed the first round. What the heck? We didn't hear any of we didn't hear any of this. Oh yeah, didn't I say? What an interesting kid. Um the Wonder Boy who uh punishes um uh, Xiao Mei is Shiki. Oh gosh, to be continued in chapter 46, uh, Valkyrie's Footsteps. So, this chapter, man, okay, this is just, oh, this is very, very Mashima esque. And I'm telling you, Mashima has got to be Xiao Mei. <laughs> it's got to be. Well, Xiao Mei right, references Mashima, let's be real. <laughs> Especially with this fighting fetish. Because we all know Mashima is like the mangaka of like a thousand fetishes. <laughs> Anyway, very curious what you guys thought of um, this chapter. Uh, what do you guys think the next uh, challenge is going to be? And, like, how many rounds are we going to, like, have to do until we get this information? I'm very, very curious. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Eden Zero content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could join to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.